on the roof. So we got a no cool call for the kitchen. Uh, so last time I came here, everything was working totally fine. So I was thinking maybe it's intermittent. So I told him to call me when it happens again. So it happened again. Uh, I am calling for cool at the thermostat. Nothing's turning on. The contactor is engaged. So we're going to go ahead and check for voltage and see what the heck is going on with this thing. So here we go. So first, we can go ahead and check for line voltage. All right, we have line voltage. I'm going to check load voltage. We got load voltage. So for some reason, the compressor is not kicking on. Neither is the capacitor. So we're going to go ahead and kill the power and we're going to check the run cap. Or 40 slash 5. So we go to Herm is common. We got 40, so that's good. And fan to common. 4.9. So yeah, run cap is good. We're ohming out this compressor, so I'm going from common to, to run. And I got an OL. And then if we go common to start, I also got an OL. Uh, so if it's on thermal overload, then I should be getting a reading when I go start to run. So yeah, so it looks like it uh, tripped thermal overload for some reason. And then uh, this has a low ambient kit, so that's why the condenser fan motor is not running. Because uh, it is uh, a little chilly out here. It's about 54 degrees. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and see if we can get this thing uh, reset. We got the lid off. We're just going to check it. Yeah, so it's pretty hot. Yeah, so it's definitely off on thermal overload. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can get some water up here and cool this thing down. Uh, but now we got to find out why uh, why it's going off on thermal overload. So maybe there's an issue with the uh, with the low ambient kit. Maybe it's not coming on when it should. So anyway, I'm going to see if I can get some water up here. Well, of course, by the time I got the water up here, it reset. As you can see now, between common and uh, start, I now have an own reading. And if we check common to run, I have an own reading. So, uh, it appears that it's reset. So now we need to put this all back together and find out why it's going off on thermal overload. All right, so this is the low ambient kit. This is the logic board. I have this unplugged because this is what powers it. So I, I wanted it to reset. Uh, so it's got two um, thermistors on it. One's a coil sensor, which is right here. The other one is a low ambient, or I'm sorry, an ambient temperature sensor. They're both thermistors. So I should be getting an ohm reading of about the same for each one. So we're going to go ahead and use our micro leads. And we're going to jam them inside there. I'm going to attempt to anyways. So please bear with me. There we go. So we got 16.39. Now we're gonna go ahead and check our ambient temperature sensor. And we're gonna jam that in there. Now you can you, you can test it on these things, you know, up here with your regular leads. Um, but doing it one-handed is almost impossible. So um, believe it or not, I've already tested these things a thousand times, uh, but I can't do it one-handed. So anyway, there we go. So we should be getting about the same. So we got about the same, 16.9. So temperature sensors are good. There might be an issue with this board, but I don't know yet. Um, I did reset it. This is right here. This is the power to it. So we're going to go ahead and plug everything back in, hook up our compressor. And we're going to go ahead and cycle it on. And we're going to hook up some gauges and watch our head pressure and see what happens. And when it's operating properly, this is what it should be doing. As you can see, this one here is running. See how the fan comes on? Or it's actually off. Now it's on. So it's regulating that head pressure. So if for some reason this isn't working properly, uh, it's not gonna you know, turn back on and the head pressure's gonna go too high and the compressor will run and trip a high pressure. And eventually it will cause a thermal overload. We got everything all hooked up. We got the gauges set up. So our off pressure is at 169.7 on both sides. We got our inrush set. Uh, yeah, it's my new meter. I actually have an inrush setting now. And we got everything hooked up. Uh, well, almost everything hooked up. We're gonna go ahead and plug in our low ambient. Okay. Now, take a look at that light. I don't know if that's normal. It's kind of flickering a little bit, so keep that in mind. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, plug in the disconnect. Uh, contactor is closed, so let's see what happens. Here we go. All right, we got compressor 
do not have fan. And we're gonna go ahead and watch our pressures. So the idea is once the pressure gets high enough, the low ambient kit should kick the fan on, which it kinda hasn't yet. It's okay though, we're still at 250 PSI. I think it's gonna kick on like, I'm not sure what temperature it is, but it should kick on before it hits 400 for sure. Okay, so it's kinda feathering the throttle on that thing, but it's barely, it's not even moving any air, so our head pressure's starting to get kinda high. Uh, we are getting a little bit faster fan, but still not quite enough. So we're at 400 PSI. So yeah, I think there's a problem with our low ambient kit because it's not quite throttling it on all the way. So yeah, it definitely shouldn't be this high. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the, the power. And that is why we're getting thermal overload is we don't have the fan running at full blast to actually do anything. So there may be a problem with that board. Uh, what we can do in the meantime is we can go ahead and plug the fan directly in the contactor uh, just to make sure that the fan is operating normally. And then our inrush is 54.81 on our compressor. So yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah, let's do this. We have the condenser fan motor plugged directly in the contactor. We're gonna go ahead and power it back up, make sure that the fan is running normally, and then uh, we will go from there. But I'm thinking it's that, uh, what do you call it? That low ambient kit It's the problem. Yeah, so our fan seems to be okay. Amp draw is 0.63, so. Yeah, I think our fan is good. I think where the problem is is with this low ambient kit. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can order one up because this is actually made by train. And then uh, we'll go from there. So we got it all put back together. We have it plugged, we still have it plugged straight into the uh, contactor uh, just to give them cooling for now. Uh, but it's pretty cold during the day and we're supposed to be getting like, you know, really low temperatures. And they run it in the morning uh, for breakfast. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have to come back. but. The part, it's super expensive, so we're gonna have to get approvals before we do it. So we're gonna leave it like this for now and then we'll come back and install it. So hopefully this helps you out if you come across something like this. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment to me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram, Facebook. Thanks for watching.